Good morning, everyone. Wesley is off this week, so you have me flying solo. And of course, we're going to start with drought. So let's get right to that new, better looking drought monitor map and see where we're at. Well, finally, some great changes for the good on the drought monitor map. You see much of that area across the southwestern half of the state, up into uh, central parts of the state, east central parts of the state. Finally relieved of those bad colors. We do still have drought around uh, in most of that region, uh, but it's certainly shrinking and getting less intense. And we also lost a lot of that uh, extreme drought up in north central Oklahoma. Uh, and severe drought still there in its place, but that's better than the extreme, that red color. Still just a little bit left with that long-term drought up in north central Oklahoma and also in far southwest Oklahoma. But again, a much better looking map. A lot more of that uh, map is uh, free of any color, which is certainly good news. You can see the changes we brought uh, across much of the uh, center uh, part of the United States from that uh, series of storm systems over the uh, course of last weekend of the weekend. So a lot of big changes down in central Texas, up through Oklahoma, and then of course up into the Great Lakes region, all from those uh, storm systems. But we do have drought building in the southeast, but still great changes for a one week uh, uh, event with all those storm systems moving through. Another thing that the uh, storm systems brought was a change in the temperature. So we did have a lot of uh, cooler weather uh, across the state as we went through, um, you know, a lot of the last week and into the weekend and then in, even into early this week. Uh, so everybody in the state, as you can see from this Mesonet map, uh, of below freezing temperatures. Everybody's had at least a hard freeze now uh, across all of the Oklahoma region. So uh, we got that out of the way. Um, so we have uh, seen that hard freeze. So as we go forward, uh, a lot fewer of those events will be as shocking, I guess you would say. Now we're gonna take a look back at October. Uh, first, we'll start with the October rainfall. Uh, again, we see those uh, wonderful rains down in South Central up into East Central Oklahoma and even extending over into Northwest Oklahoma. Now it does die down as we get in far Northwest Oklahoma uh, and the Eastern Panhandle, uh, but we also got some good rains in the Western Panhandle. So certainly good news for those folks that got the two to three to four inch amounts across much of the state. Take a look at that uh, October rainfall departure from normal. We see those big surpluses down in South Central Oklahoma, two, three, four, five, six inches above normal. Uh, two to three inches above normal surrounding that region. And then of course you have the deficit amounts as we get up into Northwest Oklahoma and also up into uh, uh, parts of Northeastern and North Central Oklahoma. Now let's take a look ahead to November from the Climate Prediction Center. We see the temperature and precipitation outlooks. We do see an increased odds of above normal temperatures for November as a whole, uh, but not a strong signal. And for the precipitation, we see equal chances of above, below, or near normal. So the classic weatherman uh, forecast uh, uh, will just get what we get. Now as for the drought outlook, we do see some parts of the state expected to remain with drought, uh, but other areas, especially in South Central and parts of North Central Oklahoma, we do see that drought expected to uh, remain, but improve with some drought removal likely. So at least we don't see any development of drought uh, where it doesn't exist at this point. Now the weather has gotten a bit more uh, boring, I guess you could say. Sometimes that's good. We do need some more rainfall in parts of the state, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more excitement as we go forward. Uh, but you know, that remains to be seen, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it for you. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.